Right, a Royal Palm Beach woman tells me that someone somehow got hold of her driver's license information and then used it to make a fake driver's license and use that to go to ATMs and drain her checking and savings accounts. Your worst sleeping nightmare because your information was stolen, but it wasn't stolen physically. Susan Douglas says even though her license was never stolen, someone got her information off of it. According to the West Palm Beach Police Department fraud report, Douglas told police someone used a fake driver's license to first deposit fraudulent checks into her account and then begin withdrawing her money. It is very scary, even so I don't know how they acquainted Bank of America with my driver's license information. The police report says Douglas has no idea who stole her driver's license information and then withdrew $3,500 from her account. She says the identity thieves first went to a real teller who noticed something amiss with the license and turned them away, but they then went to a Bank of America ATM that had a virtual teller and were successfully able to use the fake license to access and drain her accounts. They made counterfeit copies looking exactly like the driver's license, inserted their picture on top of my picture and walked into a Bank of America branch and deposited counterfeit checks into my accounts and then using the same method withdrew all of my assets. Police and the bank are investigating. Douglas's accounts are frozen and she doesn't know what might be breached next. At this point, I do not feel safe with anything, anyone. I'm not sure who to trust. And police, they're telling her to just assume her entire identity has been compromised and not to take anything for granted. Now, we have reached out to Bank of America to find out if this has happened to any other of their customers, but we haven't heard back yet. In West Palm Beach, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.